A government change. That's what the Democratic Party of Japan, or DPJ, has been calling for. And now, after half a century of almost unbroken conservative rule, the Japanese people have agreed. But even with this historic win, they know that change won't happen overnight. I don't think the situation will change very quickly, but the fact that the Democratic Party of Japan won by a landslide should help bring about changes. For the first time in Japan's recent history, the future government has promised to put the focus more on people than business. On Prime Minister-to-be Yukio Hatoyama's plate, many social reforms like raising the minimum wage and pensions, as well as curbing a record 5.7% unemployment and warding off a possible demographic time bomb. Democrats count on consumers to revive the economy, a definite first for Japan. Well, I look at the uh, DPJ's uh, manifest for the, uh, this election. The DPJ is quite favorable on consumers. Uh, allocation of resources to consumers is a key for DPJ, uh, which is uh, quite different from LDP. Which, uh, LDP depends on largely to uh, big business. Aside from the economy, Hatoyama has also pledged to fight the heavy bureaucracy that has crippled the country's finances over the years. But people still need some convincing. Politicians come and go, but nothing really changes. Japan is a bureaucratic society. If the bureaucracy isn't reformed, politicians won't be able to do anything. Will the Democratic Party of Japan manage to do it? Well, even with them, I'm not sure if that will be possible. To implement his politics of change, Yukio Hatoyama will first need to get the green light on his budget. The first measures are expected before the end of the year.